Let me start recording and then let me uh, let me see here. How do I um, how do I start <laughs> Zoom? <laughs> oh, I'm so out of it. Oh, here we go. I'm I'm out of it today. For some reason I'm loopier than usual. Anyway, hello everybody. Both on uh, you can see us there on Facebook and you can see us also uh, on the recording we're making that you'll be watching later. Okay, all right. And it is a Monday, and it is 4 o'clock on the East Coast of the United States. And it is time for us to talk with our citizen panel who are calling. So let's, uh, let me see here. How do I do all of them at the same time? There's supposed to be an all here. What happened to it? Hmm. Well, I will just, uh, I will admit them one by one. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, and there we go, and uh, um, oh, admit all, here we go, I, it, it was on the very, very top, and I did, couldn't see it, okay, there we go, wow, quite a few people here, okay. Hi, yeah, we hello Paula. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Happy New Year. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh hello to uh Charlene and hello to Edward Berger. That's right. Yeah, and uh Len Lafrisco and uh Rick Jackman. Oh, you don't yeah. see half his head. Now nah, there we go. Oh, oh that, that's Jeff. You could yeah, see. yeah. Uh, and uh, let me see here, Marjorie Miller. I got to admit her. If I don't, I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> How you doing, Rick? Tired, but fine. Yeah, last week uh, he was calling us from the uh, emergency room at what? Which hospital? NYU Langone, Nassau. If that sounds like uh, NYU Langone sounds like some kind of, I don't know, shrimp dish. <laughs> At a restaurant. Well, I told you it's in the top ten of hospitals in North America. Really? <laughs> On whose list though? See, you put another list and then I didn't make the list. I don't know. You know, people at Langone. Is, that, is yeah. that Ken Langone, the guy that owned Home Depot? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think I think it is. He but has anyway. a hospital, he named it after himself. <laughs> yeah. But uh uh Shecky's uh are you doing okay? Yeah. Yeah. They didn't well, find much of anything, did they? Uh, there were two small polyps they removed during the um, colonoscopy. colonoscopy. Yeah. and But, you know, I left, all I, they gave me were vitamins. So there's no prescription drugs or anything yeah, like that. Yeah. It's like he went in for a, a transfusion. How'd the transfusion go, Shecky? Never got it. <laughs> <laughs> and now the doctor wants to see me Monday. And trust me, if he says you're going in for a transfusion, you know what my answer is going to be. You tell me yeah. to shove it up his, <laughs> you know where. Yeah, let me spend 10 hours in the emergency room to get this transfusion that the hospital won't give me. Well, you know, I when I went in, I went in because I had uh, I had fallen in the bathroom, trying to get to the bathroom, and I was really dizzy, and I was vomiting, and I poisoning. had to get to the bathroom to vomit. Well, I think we think it was food poisoning. Could yeah. well be uh, some of this peripheral or positional uh, vertigo that I had. But anyway, we went down there for that. We were this ambulance took, took me down there because I when I went in the bathroom, I hit my head and I fell on the floor, and then I couldn't get up, and I. I was too dizzy and too lightheaded. And I every time I tried to get up, I wanted to throw up. So anyway, I went for that. They never even attended to what that problem was. Hmm. Never, not once. They did uh, They did an MR, they did a uh, CT scan on me. They thought they found a few large lymph nodes. So they checked the rest of my body with another CT scan. They gave me an echocardiogram. They did blood tests. They did. You, you went through the whole thing, right? Yep. Everything, yep. every inch of my body, except for one thing. Why I fell and hit my head 
and the stomach, you know, the, the throwing up, what that was all about. Oh, they gave me a pill for the throwing up and that took care of it. You know. you know, I told you, the doctor is like, you have to have a transfusion. Oh, my God. And then I get to the hospital, I go, your anemic levels aren't bad enough to give you a transfusion. Yeah, you uh, almost what the fuck feel, am I doing there? You know what you, <laughs> almost, you know what you almost feel like? You feel like a car that you've taken in because you need an oil change and they put it up on the rack and then they look at everything they can find that's wrong, you know? And, oh, well, you need new, uh, you, what is it you always needed? Uh, new shocks or new bearings, uh, you know, brake pads. Brake pads, yeah. yeah. And, oh, you and, need a new muffler. Uh -huh. And then you leave and you say, oh, by the way, how much for the uh, oil change? And they, oh, we forgot to do that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, I mean, that, 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 that's the trouble with the with the emergency room. You know, what, what is that? That's Jeff. <laughs> he didn't mute himself. <laughs> yeah. But I told you, once I got upstairs, the food was really good. And now, here's the thing. I'm talking to Shecky the other day. He gets home. I'm, how, how was it? I don't want to ask him too many questions because I know everybody's asking him about this. And I figure I'll just, you know, I'll ask him about it. If, I'll ask him as much as he wants to tell me. Mm -hmm. And the one thing when he got into it that he couldn't stop talking about was <clears> the <throat> food. It was like he went to a fine restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the steak was so good. And the oh, I fish. told you I missed roast beef on Friday because I went home on Thursday. Yeah, it's, ah. you miss roast beef. <laughs> I might have to go there soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, just for uh, a lunch or something. Yeah, it's very. You know, I, I stayed long enough on Thursday, so I got <clears throat> tur turkey and mashed potatoes for lunch. Well, how was the and turkey? How was the turkey? Juicy. Yeah, very good. Oh, nice turkey. Okay. Very good. Well, it's thanks. also the place that runs this uh, internet uh, medical um, information. Like, like each doctor of different responsibilities are on for an hour. Mm -hmm. And they go on forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, so you can get, you can. You can, you can get yourself a medical school class just from that. <laughs> yeah. But I told Alex they bring you a menu each day for the next day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, where you kick off what you want. Yeah, well, I I seem to remember that when I was in for my kidney stones, which was <clears throat> another case of going in because my side hurt, <clears throat> and so I have kidney stones. So I wound up there three and a half days until I passed. The little kidney stone, oh. you know. Uh, but uh, I remember the food as being pretty good, you know. And I had heard hospital food sucked. But then again, they put me, they put me in the uh, uh, palliative yeah. care. Unit. Waiting to die unit. Yeah, they, like, <laughs> they put me in palliative care, and I said, yeah. "It's really nice here. The TV, big yeah, TV the screen." Everything. And 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 uh, you know, I just ring the bell, and somebody's there immediately, and so on. I said, "Boy, this is great. Where did you? Where am I?" And they said, "Oh, you're in palliative care." And I went, "Is there something you aren't telling me?" <laughs> and they said, "Yes, there's something we aren't telling you. We didn't have room for you anywhere else in the hospital, so you're here, and you're lucky because here you get everything. You get all the TV channels. You know." Yeah, right. Oh, I had like 50 channels. You had 50 channels? <laughs> yeah. And there was still nothing to watch, right? No, know. I watched the Yankee game the other night. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I remember you got great food, too. Why don't you just rent, rent your place out, Check? You just go stay there. Good food. Good food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nurses couldn't have been nicer. I mean, you you know. they'll do your laundry. It's all great. It's good. Hmm. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, the, uh, at least it was a pleasant experience for you. Well, as pleasant as something like that can be. Yeah, where there's you know getting... the three a.m. waking you up to give you vitamin, you know, vitamin intravenous. I don't know about <laughs> they that. They used to wake me up at three in the morning to do a blood draw, and you're going, uh, boy, this is really a wonderful. 
time for your blood draw. You know, and I already got something in my arm all the time because they've got a saline drip going in there. I called it, I could, they, they put it in there. The first day you go in in your arm here and it stays there till you leave. Yep. Well, I had the saline drip the first day and that was it for saline. But did they leave the thing in your arm? Yes. Yeah, yes. because I can, I called that my USB port. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Because like when they uh, give me B12, it would go in through one of the, you know, what that thing that jig. Yeah. You know? Or you want to go to sleep now? And then they put some stuff right in there and it goes. Right yeah. <laughs> so that's your USB port. And uh they uh, you know, I mean they're they they it was four three and a half days of uh, you know, ring the bell, they're there, right? You know. Are, yeah. Is he dead yeah. yet? Oh no, this guy isn't dying. You know, he's he's okay. Yeah. But anyway, so for a couple of days, I didn't take my pregabalin pill and then my feet were starting to hurt. So I took the pregabalin pill and today I'm walking into walls. You know, I just, it's, it's, it's terrible. I don't understand it. I don't like being this. Maybe, maybe I'm just getting old. Is that, could that be? That's the reason why I'm it, Alex? What? You're just realizing it? <laughs> no, I the minute I realize it is when I roll over in bed and I see you. Oh, oh okay. Touche. Touche. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> dinner tonight. Oh boy. Either that or I feel like I'm a, what is it like uh what 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 a uh, uh, gigolo, right? <laughs> Chick. And you're paying me lots of money, babe. In your case, it might be more of a giggle over. <laughs> Here comes Brian Neary. Will he be home? Will he be at work? We have no idea. Be in the car. No picture yet. He might be in the car. He could yeah. be in the car. Yeah. Uh, hold on. He is uh, in the car. Yeah. You oh, win. In the car. Marjorie, okay. Marjorie wins. I Marjorie win. wins. Okay, I'll, I'll take you out to dinner when I get there. Okay, we're waiting. <laughs> okay, so, so so I have a good story about uh, hospitals okay. and in the wrong areas. Okay, so 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 uh, <clears throat> when Tiffany went into labor, she had Adrian, right? And then we went in. To, they put us into a room, and they they ran out of space in the whatever maternity ward area. Mm -hmm. So they put us in this other kids area. We I didn't really know, but I knew it was in a different area. Yeah. So. Oh my God! And Tiffany keeps calling me right now. Don't, oh, jeez. Okay, so, so uh, <laughs> I have more important things to do. So, uh, so, so they put us in this area, and we're just about to leave. They're they're sort of the day, you know. They're we're sort of they bundle up Adrian and all that stuff, and the San Jose Sharks come through. So Sharky, the mascot, yeah. the mascot comes through, and uh, a, a couple old players came through. And so I grabbed Adrian and I said, oh, I want to take a picture with them, you know? So, so I grabbed him and they had like a media group that sort of went through. They took a little video and picture. So there's Adrian, Stephanie, and Stephanie's real young and myself with these, a couple of the old shark players and, and the shark mascot. So all of a sudden, like a couple of weeks later, my friends start sending me video at the Sharks game. They had us up on the big screen and it was about the children's ward. About the cancer war. <laughs> so they're showing video of all these kids, you know, the kids with going through chemo and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And then they're then all of a sudden they show the picture of us, you know, with Sharky and that oh stuff. Oh my god. And so yeah, so it was pretty funny. So we're on this like advertisement for their cancer, you know, going to the kids and meeting all the kids with cancer and stuff. And there we are with my daughter with Adrian. So yeah, so it's wow. it pretty funny. <laughs> Well, so you were in the cancer ward is where you were. Yeah, yeah. Like, I guess right one of those rooms off to the side. And so when they did the media stuff, there we were. Yeah, so it's pretty funny. Well, that's, you know, when you wind up in the cancer ward, it's scary. Because, like, I was, I, I was, you know, I had my own little, well, you call it a room, but it's not really a room. You got the, you know, the curtains around you and everything. And elsewhere on this floor, I could hear people in writhing in pain. OK, that was the downside of being in the uh, in the palliative care ward. But whatever. How are you doing, Paula? 
Uh, I think the only good reason to be in the hospital is if you're in labor. Otherwise, forget about it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, how have you been? Oh, uh, good. Good. Yeah, uh, the weather is nice. It's, there's no hurricane uh, here in Akron, Ohio. And, uh, you know, that, that's, that's uh, good. Sometimes the sun comes out, sometimes it rains for five minutes. We got uh, we got our uh, our latest uh, COVID shot. We got the you know. Good for you. What's it called? There's a name for it. Omicron specific or whatever. Omicron specific, and I think I have had a bad reaction to it for the last couple of days. I've been Need tired. To. I've been lightheaded. I've been uh, my arm still hurts. hurts. This Thursday. Mine doesn't. Mine doesn't. Uh, does your does your still hurt, Jeff? Did you get it? No, but it did for three days. Yeah, it's still hurting me. I touch it here, and I can yeah. I can feel the pain. So I apparently. understand. I understand that not a lot of people are getting the booster. You know, there's boosters out there, and people are, are not. Well, enough for doing it that we had to wait like a week to get it. We yeah. had to go online. By the way, you know, I was arguing the other day. Maybe it was even here that we were fit we filled out the form at uh, rite aid and uh, because you had to do it online you couldn't do it at rite aid oh. and we were filling it out and it was a bitch and now i know computers i know my way about around a computer program but this stuff was it took us what you said two hours marjorie two hours i mean it was not easy okay it wasn't like go sign up hey i want wednesday that's it. it. No, what's your insurance? Take pictures of your insurance card. Exactly. Uh, do, 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 do this, do that. Uh, then a whole list of things. Are you allergic to this? Da, 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 da. And you go on and on and on. And uh, I said to Marjorie, I said, you know, we're old, but that's not stopping us because I know computers and so does she. And she knows filling out forms. God knows she worked for a company. You fill out forms all the time, right? What happens if an old person who is not computer savvy runs exactly. into this thing? So we're sitting there the other day and we're waiting. And this old guy goes up and says, I'd like to get the newest COVID shot. And they say, well, you have to go online and sign up for it. And he started walking away. And then he walked back and talked to somebody else. And we heard what he was saying. And he was saying, I don't own a computer. And I don't know how to use it. And I don't know how to use one if I had one. And you know, with his advice to them, this is a Rite Aid. The advice to this guy was try another pharmacy. Wow. So, you know, the very people that need that shot are incapable of deciphering how to do it in many cases. It's the same at Walgreens. They won't, they won't let you walk in and do it. You got to sign up online. Yeah. Same mm -hmm. thing. Well, right Walgreens aid. is Rite Aid. Yeah. Just oh, that's name. the same thing? Oh, I didn't know No, that. Walgreens oh. isn't Rite Aid. Yes, it is. No, Walgreens bought somebody else, I think. No, they bought Rite Aid. Did they buy Rite Aid? I didn't I know that. So. I think so. See, the, the problem is that the, that uh, of the conglomerates, because the, you don't have to go through any of that if you have a neighborhood pharmacy, which uh, which... I quit my uh, my Walgreens because uh, I I, um, I got a prescription. Went to the Walgreens and found out that uh, they had closed the the, the, the shutter. They weren't uh, they didn't have enough people to to uh, to, to man the the the, uh, um, the pharmacy. Well, I may have mentioned this last week. You know what happened at our drugstore? The shelves are empty. All of them. And All you go, them. why are they empty? We're we're figuring. Oh well, that's to prevent theft. No, we thought they were closing up. Okay, but no, no, but we thought Christmas time. No, we th we no, we thought it was that they were closing. You know, they were yeah. in the pharmacy, and that they were just not putting more stuff on the. So I asked the pharmacy. I said, "Why are all the a lot of these shelves so empty?" He says, "Oh, theft." Tell him why the it's mayor theft, do, Rick. Alex, and what did the mayor allow? Yeah, well, tell, ask Rick. Rick, what did the mayor do that made this possible for people to go in and steal stuff in pharmacies? No bail. No, no. he paid it under a certain amount. Under a certain amount, you don't get arrested. Get away with it. So I can go in and get my razor blades for free. No, your wife. 
I, now, to, now it's my, I always start with this, about being racist, you're white, you'll go to jail. <laughs> really? Come but, on. They were said that, that he said, see the, that st small stack of, of t top paper towels? Yeah. Well, it was a large stack of paper towels a few days ago, and nobody's bought them. Hmm. Yeah. All the shelves either had locks on them or they were empty. Are there no neighborhood pharmacies where or where you people are anymore? No, you know, there are. There are. There's one on the corner, Marjorie. There's one down in, in, in Malcolm X, a right, a, a almost a catty corner, on um, uh, to uh, to uh, the uh, CVS. Uh, and I can't remember. It's got a name. It's got some kind of call a uh, name for it. I don't know who what the name is for it. Uh, and then there's that one. Is it one that has a phone number that's something oh, like two thousand something something two thousand? Yeah, yeah. Or no, it's it's something 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 zero 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 zero. I don't know how they got that phone number. They got they, it years I, ago. <laughs> it must they must have it must have been you know when Alexander Graham Bell installed the first phone. <laughs> yes, Charlene. My mm -hmm. mom worked for uh, the phone company, mm -hmm. and when she went to get her first phone number, she was able to pick it, and it was five eight one four 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 four. Really? <laughs> See, I don't like to do that. Somebody that had a nine 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 zero. And a cab company called her and said, uh, hey, we'd like to buy your number. And they gave her three grand for it. <laughs> really? Well, you, well I, you see, I wonder how that happened. Because originally, like when I was in San Francisco and I was a kid, our phone number only had like four digits. And that was it. Wow. Or, or no, it had a, excuse me, it had a four digits. But before it, it had a name. Like mm -hmm. the we were yeah. seven four three eight two. Remember Paula? Yeah. yeah. Now it's just all numbers, and, yeah. and area codes don't matter anymore. No, but they changed too. Remember, it was like Philadelphia thirty one Pennsylvania. Yeah, but if I left here, six four six is a, is a New York number. If I left here and went to California and used you my cell phone there. You. You, you can take it with you. Today. So six four six would be my yeah. my prefix. You don't know what the <laughs> prefix is anymore when people call. So, yeah. Uh, you your number wherever you go. Hello, Mike Chisholm. How's everything in uh, Canada? Greetings, everyone. Um, I've heard things are good in Canada. Right now, I can't speak uh, to that personally. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, right now. What do you ah. Las Vegas, Nevada, for to lose your money? Um, I lost a little bit of money last night in a heartbreaker of a hand. I, I started with $100 at the poker table. I turned it to $450. I was dealt aces. Oh. And uh, I went all in to try and buy the pot. Somebody called me and uh, they had queen 10. It all looked good. And they got a queen and they got a 10. And oh. I said, well, there's my $100 gone. And so <laughs> that's where it's been so far. Yeah, yeah. Well, could have been a thousand it would have been a thousand dollar pot i would have been very happy going to buy a pair of running shoes today if that were the case but um <laughs> i'm down here for cauliflower alley cauliflower alley mm. you, i guess that would bear a description now an yes. explanation well um it's a rest it's a fraternity that's been around since like the 50s for it was started for stunt performers and professional wrestlers and um and, and, and all of the biggest wrestlers in the world and many performers are in this fraternity and they do a reunion every year. It, there's a benevolent fund for wrestlers who have uh, basically broken their bodies and are later on in life, they don't have health insurance and things like that. And so there's a, for that, it's a fraternity kind of a meeting and a reunion and all sorts of fun stuff. And I'm, I'm leading a couple seminars here. So, so. seminars on real, what? you're not a wrestler, real uh, wrestlers, man. I, 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 it's funny. I was invited into the fraternity because I'm a wrestling promoter. Uh, we promoted shows in, in Canada here. Um, I didn't know you were a years. wrestling promoter. We, yeah, we raised $250,000 for local charities with our promotion. And mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, turns out they wanted me. So I'm here. I'm doing a financial seminar and then I'm interviewing um, in front of everybody a wrestler by the name of Sam Houston. Didn't he? But I thought he died at the Alamo. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's real, 
real wrestlers? Or are they Canadian wrestlers? Or no, they obviously they're American wrestlers as well because it takes place in uh, Las Vegas. It's professional any, around the world. Are there any women oh. like like the Glow uh, uh, series? Yeah, actually, uh, it's funny you should say that the Glow, the original, the real Glow girls are all here. Uh, well, the, the ones wow. that want to. Um, and and yeah, they're 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 all part of it as well. There's a picture online with me with uh, my arm around the Rock's mom. I met oh. her at a, a few years ago. At that's where I met her originally. And so, uh, so yeah, it's uh, yeah. all the uh, all, the rest, all those, over the world. Are. So, who's your favorite wrestler? Uh, that's a complicated question, Alex. What do you mean, it's a complicated uh, question? I, I, Mick Foley. Uh, if I had to say right now, it'd be a guy by the name of Mick Foley. I know Mick him. Foley is uh, the uh, the he had a name as another name the something or another. Uh, he was Cactus Jack and he was Mankind. Mankind. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Because my my favorite was uh, what's his name uh, the guy who had had, had hair all over his body uh, George, George the Apple Apple Steel. <laughs> Got to be my favorite. Yeah. This a is a guy who would come out and he would eat the turnbuckle in the, <laughs> in the ring. You know, he was a school teacher. Yeah, but no, in private life, he was a no. He was a college professor. Forget school teacher, college professor. Am I right, Mike? Uh, a school teacher actually is 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 more. I think I don't know. He might have done some college as well. But yeah, very educated man for sure. Yeah, and this guy, he was in um, he in, in, in he was in the movie. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Oh, You're one. talking about the Ed Wood movie. The Ed, Ed Wood movie. Ed Wood. Yeah, he played uh, Tor Johnson. Yeah, right. yeah. I mean, I loved him. I just, I just thought the whole character, everything was so beautifully created that he made it totally entertaining. You know. Yeah, he's uh he's he's a classic. Um, another... he still, is he still alive? I don't know if George is still with us. Um, yeah. The other guy that's going to be here that I'm very excited about is Jerry Lawler. And I've met Jerry mm -hmm. Lawler a few times, but not since I started the Letterman podcast. So hopefully we have some pretty cool uh, stories coming out uh, of Cauliflower Alley this week um, that have to do with Letterman. Yeah, but Lawler, uh, well, Lawler, I think, did Letterman, didn't he? Well, that's he's the one who famously smacked Andy Kaufman in the face. That's the whole right. Andy Kaufman, yeah. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, so... Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun to talk to him about that. I've talked to him about it privately before, but hopefully yeah. we'll be able to get some footage of it. And then when I was in New York, I interviewed Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake is Sam Houston's brother, the guy I'm interviewing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I remember asked the trivia question, who's Sam Houston's brother, I can say Jake the Snake. Yes, you can. And he brought his snake with him. No. You know, he was... Uh, he lived the gift like crazy. I had, I had a girlfriend of mine with me on that trip and she was there and she actually, she loved snakes. So he let her put it all around her. Yeah. And uh, a lot of that went on. It killed uh, her. It killed her, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> because in those days for me, girlfriends were a dime a dozen. You know, so. <laughs> but uh, no, that sounds interesting. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Why do I know that? You know, you know what's strange is that I know that much about wrestling. <laughs> you know, every now and then you acquire a certain. Well, you find you acquire a certain amount of information on a certain subject, and you don't know why, but all along the way, you kind of, kind of like stuck to your brain. I had a guy once I was interviewing about the old West, and I started talking to him about this bandit and that bandit and this and then, and all of a sudden, I said to myself, "How do I know all this?" You know, and it seems like it was something I was interested in. And whenever I got a fact about it, stuck to my brain. Now I have no brain left, so there's nothing <laughs> stuck there. So it doesn't matter. Just random debris smashing into each other every once in a while. Yeah, it's, you know, it's okay. And I've been, I've been getting headaches. You know, I think, I think that shot. Knocked me for a loop for quite a few days. Hmm. How you doing, Vernon? Vernon's down there in... Uh, uh, Kentucky, isn't it? Yes, I'm uh, back from my Alaska cruise. Oh, oh, yes. I hear that is one of the best cruises you can take, right, Shecky? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous scenery everywhere, mm -hmm. except yeah. Juneau. 
uh, the days we stopped in Juneau, yeah, it, care it, for Juno all it that rained much. all day. It rained oh. all day. Yeah. And and our our uh, the thing we signed up for the excursion got overbooked, and the bus left without us. So we're standing there. We're standing there on the pier waiting, looking for this bus, and it's already gone. And finally, somebody from the cruise ship comes up and says, "Oh well, we overbooked that. We're trying to get another bus here. We'll try to get you guys on it if you still want to go." I said, "Well." How, how long are we going to have to wait? Oh, about an hour and a half. And then it'll get you back to the ship right at, at sailing time, like 8.30. And then we said, nah, we'll pass. Everybody I know who has taken that cruise has said it is just phenomenal. I mean, Shecky's yeah. taken cruises all over the world, and you told me it was one of the best you ever took. Yeah. I, yeah. I took one, too. It was very good. Absolutely. Long time ago. Yeah. What were you going to say, like, Shecky? No, I was going to say... You're watching, you know, um, glaciers calving, things like that. Wow. Wow. Yeah, the, the one that got my. And yeah, we took a helicopter it. trip to the top of a glacier, you know. Wow. Yeah. The what, guy what? I work with at Home Depot took a float plane uh, excursion and they flew across the tops of five different glaciers watching them. Uh, we yeah. didn't do our, ours, was supposed to be like just a photo safari and whale watching that got overbooked. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, see, see, folks, the kind of money you can make working at Home Depot. Be able to make. Yeah, but I lost it off the poker table like Mike. I, I had a hand where I thought, oh, man, I can't lose. I had a king queen. I had a queen on the turn on the flop and then nothing, nothing, nothing on the turn and a queen on the on the last card. So I had three queens and a king and I went all in. And damn it, somebody at the table didn't have a queen ace. Oh, no. hello. like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, you know, uh, uh, I, I um, it, 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 they, had, they had gambling. Was this a big ship? No, this was like a, about 3,000 passengers. 3,000 passengers. Well, that's a small cruise. Yeah. Oh God. That's not what they call a mega ship. You know, you know, normal. I go on vacations to get away from people. <laughs> not to be you don't, you don't really notice them, be quite honest with you. Uh, yeah, but you know, all they're doing is they're taking a chunk of population away from the shore and taking them out to sea, but it's still like a city. You know, I mean, yeah. some of these ships have what five thousand people. Five thousand is ones I've been. Well, on. I know towns mm -hmm. lived in that were only less than that in population. Yeah. The smartest move we made was not flying home on the Sunday when the ship came back to Seattle, because there was another three thousand ship from Holland, America, that docked that essentially ran the same excursion, and so we had six thousand people flooding the Seattle airport all at once. Oh, jeez. Well, and we, we decided to, to wait another day and visit smart. some friends and come back on Monday, and we did. Very smart. And that was just simple, easy peasy, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But to get to Seattle, though, you got to see the Museum of Flight. It is wonderful. We only got to see about a third of it, and we were there for four hours. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Well, Marjorie and I should take a vacation, but. I would like that. Yeah, but I, I keep thinking about where. And we've got to do it before my money runs out. Uh, not runs out, before the stock market completely. We have to do out. it before <laughs> we run out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but as I said to you, I made a hell of a lot of money last year. So you're giving some of it back this year. That You can't keep going up and up. And well, up. I didn't make the kind of money you made last year. And mm -hmm. money I made last year was just a little bit, you know. And now it's, I mean, today... We're below twenty nine thousand. Yeah, but you, you can't continue to go up because everybody in the nine thousand or twenty thousand. What what am I thinking? It's twenty nine thousand. Yeah, yeah. It's twenty. I mean, I I looked at it and going, is this thing going to get any worse? You know, yeah. it could before it gets better, but it'll yeah. come back at some point. Well, I remember, it went south a while back, and then after a while, I looked and I was making more money than I had more money than I had when that happened. You know. But yeah. this just seems to keep tanking and keep tanking and keep tanking. We we were due for this. I mean, it really, at the end of the day... What do you mean, we? You're a Canadian. You're not even involved <laughs> in this. Well, our it's market insane. is very much attached to your market. And, and being in the business, many of the investments that I put my clients in are very similar from ones that, that you guys have. 
Um, but, but I mean, 08 was the last real big one. And then, you know, typically these things don't go 10 years in between breaks. There's usually something within, you know, five, six years. There was a long time where it ran up and up and up and up and up and up. So a correction like this was definitely, definitely due. The thing is not to get emotional when this happens. Don't pull it out. Speaking of Canada, I've been watching uh, the uh, Canadian version of uh, Dragon's Den, which is a British show, which yeah. then over here in the United it's, States. It's a very good. Shark the British Tank. version is very good. The British version is very good. The Canadian version. Uh, I mean, the Canadian it, version. They only get one person on every hour because when they decide not to invest in the person, uh, the apology takes at least 10 minutes. <laughs> You no, know, I watched the American version the other day. Mm -hmm. It was the first episode of the oh, year. Terrible. They had an audience. It, it, oh, it was terrible. Work. It was Nothing horrible. Work with an audience. Oh, it was one of the worst TV shows I ever saw. Yeah. What's it called? It was Shark Tank. Shark Tank. But they had an audience for the premiere. And they only and got they only terrible. got like three people on in the whole hour because when they when they do the show, uh, they do about five people. And it takes them maybe two and a half hours to do it. And they edit it. edit it and tighten it up and everything like that. Well, here you can't tighten it up if it's live. And it was boring. It yeah, was you know, it's the uh, the sharks playing to this audience. And then they had this thing It's at a commercial break. Should XYZ be invested in? You have two minutes to vote. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. You know, I mean, it was ridiculous. Then, then you got to see the announcer, who's a weird-looking guy. Weird-looking guy. Yes. Yeah, weird. Look, you know, the kind of guy's an announcer because he doesn't want to be seen. You know, and and it was just, it was. I hope they never do it. It was again. unwatchable. Yeah, I hope they never do it again. That was gas. They will. I bet they will. Well, one once a season. Okay, warn me ahead of time. I won't it's watch the first it. episode of the season. Okay, you know. Yeah, but they weren't testing it. Here's what yeah. I what what I, I you know I've been watching this House of Dragons. I don't know why because how, how anybody watching House of Dragons? Oh yeah, yeah. You like it? I love it. What do yeah. you love about it? I love the characters. Have you watched the, the action? Have you, Dragons, watched, have you watched the Lord of the Rings thing? I haven't watched it yet. I much, will. Much better show. Okay. Much better. Well written. This, you know, they spent seven hundred thousand dollars on the damn thing. Millions, millions. Million, Alex. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, you know, I'm an old man. That doesn't make thought, it a good show. I thought the first episode was mostly scenery. Yeah, the scenery was wonderful. Yeah, no, but I mean, it it is there's, there's a there's a good plot going there. But the thing yeah. is, that last night I tune it in, and the and the you know the lead woman in that thing is this teenage girl basically named Renares, and um, uh, you know she yeah, you know, has a weird look, look, kind of a weird off putting look. It, it was I I liked her on the show, yeah. but anyway, so they start the show last night. And Rhaenyra's is giving birth to a baby, and it's not the same actress. And then she goes to see the queen, and the queen's not the same actress. And the boyfriend is not the same actor. And I'm going, what the, heck, what the hell is going on here? They used to do that in the old soap opera. Well, wait a minute, no, it's, exactly. ten, it's 10 years later, so they decided to recast it. Well, they did that with the queen. You're right. They yeah. do that with the queen. You're, you're, it's right. a very good point. But the thing is that what it turns out now is the whole season this year of House of Dragons is a prologue to their version of Game of Thrones. Which yes, but it's 200 these, years earlier. Yeah, yeah, but already 100 years have passed in this thing, you know. But I believe it's based on one of his books. I've never read those. Several books, of his never books, will. actually. Yeah, several of his books. But anyway, so, I mean, I'm watching and I think, wait a minute, where's 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 the uh, uh, ugly girl? Where is she? You know, <laughs> uh, where where is that? The queen was a much younger, looked different, didn't, you know, they didn't even get, find actresses that looked like the actresses oh. they were replacing. And now... I read somewhere that they think that actually these actresses are the ones they hired first. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
and then they went and found a teenage version of that that actress. Or maybe they did a focus group. <laughs> yeah, they do that too. Yeah, focus groups. Weren't they the ones that said Seinfeld wasn't funny? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I think that was Brand, not Brandon. Um, what's his name? No, but they did it there. It's a it Littlefield for sure. It's a Littlefield Seinfeld yeah. on his wall has the letter coming back from the testing organization that said nobody liked this show. Which is, you know. In all fairness, Seinfeld got a lot better in season two, and season one was very short. No, but well, it was supposed to be, it was supposed it was to be kind on of a one off the Seinfeld yeah. show. Yeah. 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 The pilot, uh, and in the first episode, you didn't even have Elaine. You, they were going to use uh, this other actress as the female on the show, and they got rid of her and got Julia Louis Dreyfus, which was a good idea, yeah. you know. But uh, but he supposedly has that letter, you know, that says this show will never make it. Love it. And the first season of Seinfeld was what? Four episodes, six episodes? Something? Yeah, it wasn't very many. I was going to say seven, but it might even be less. And I think the second year was like eight. And then the third year... It well, was it, was a, it was the Seinfeld Chronicles originally. The first episode was Seinfeld Chronicles. After that, they just called it Seinfeld. You know, so whatever. Yeah. So, so here's my question of the day. Okay, what question What governor is now going to ask the government to pay for every bit of damage to his state? <laughs> Say it again. What, what was the first part of it? I said, what governor is going to demand that, <laughs> that I pay for the damage to his state. Uh, it's 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 a a Florida. Florida. Of course, Florida. So far as I'm concerned, and this may be, this is just my opinion, and I don't want people who are listening from Florida to be upset by it, but if you sink into the ocean, I won't care. Neither will I. Neither will I. Personal. <laughs> and I've lived there, so I speak from experience, you know. Yeah, but this fellow is going to be the first man demanding the Democrats pay for this. Oh, for what? He's going to he's going to want the money. Money for what? For like the damages. storm damage. Storm damages? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and he should get Trump to come over and throw out paper towels. Yeah. yeah. You know. Uh but no, he'll 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 ask for it, you know. Um what I would suggest is they maybe fly some of his Floridians up to Martha's <laughs> Vineyard because they really know how to take care of people, you know. Um, it turns out that all these people went to Martha's Vineyard are not in better I had, I had to turn this off. Hmm? Hmm? I had to turn it off. Because oh, yeah. But he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jeff. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I'm, uh... Uh, now. <laughs> 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 uh, and what happened to Len LaFrisco? Where did he go? He but called me. By the way, he wrote me yesterday, Shecky, and said, "Is Shecky okay?" Because I haven't heard. Well, he wanted to make sure we're having lunch in four weeks, so when he comes to New York. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Len, Len actually asked me yesterday. He sent me a thing saying, <laughs> "Is Shecky okay?" I was worried about you, buddy. Yeah, geez. As far as far as I am concerned, I am fine. It seems as far so. as my doctor is concerned. He's going to want me to go back to the emergency room for this phony transfusion. They won't give it to you. Well, and then I'm going to get a different doctor. That's what you should do. You know, I it, basically what happened to you was also the second part of what happened to me, where I had the emergency room say, "Well, you got to check in on this this thing with your lymph nodes and and so on, and, and go see this doc these doctors who are hematologists, oncologists." And so she sent all the stuff over to them, and I called them. And and she said, well, we'll we'll uh, uh, we have all your materials. Uh, we'll get back to you. And then she got back to me and said, we don't want to see you. <laughs> and 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 she never explained it to me completely. But then later on, when I called back a, a couple of weeks later, she did. They didn't want to see me because they looked at all my work and said, you don't have cancer, so we can't see you. There's no reason for us. No reason. That's the same thing that happened to you with the transfusion. You went back to get the transfusion and they said, sorry, we're not going to give it to you because you don't need it. 
And then also today they called me. My doctor is in Iceland this week. <laughs> do I want to see a different doctor? And it's like, no, I started with this guy. Why do I now want to see Alex Bennett? <laughs> <laughs> well, because I will give you good medical advice. But you know what I mean. Bennett. And that is don't go to doctors because if you don't go if you don't go to doctors, you won't be sick. That's right. There's nothing yeah. wrong with you. <laughs> you no, know, I have nothing, no problem with him being in Iceland for a week on vacation. But it's like now you, you know, oh, well, he's not gonna be here when you're supposed to go on Friday. So what you know, you I can know. see Alex Bennett. I'd be somewhat suspect of a doctor who goes to vacation in Iceland. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I hear it. It's supposed to be very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, you yeah, know, because I have this, uh, I have Apple TV, the the Apple TV, the box, you know, the little box they sell. There and, we go. And the screensavers are these videos of flyovers of various places in the world. And one of, there are a bunch of them from Iceland. And they're gorgeous. They're beautiful. You they know, are. wouldn't want to live there. It's nothing but ice, but it's beautiful. <laughs> No, no, I don't think that's true. I think that I, I, I read someplace that, that uh, when uh, Iceland was um, named Iceland, it was to keep the tourists away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Greenland is the one with the ice. And Greenland, right. Greenland, yeah, is Greenland the one has all the ice. Yeah. Oh, well, then it was, but it was beautiful, whatever I see. You know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, Greenland should be called Iceland, and Iceland should be mm -hmm. called Greenland. Exactly. But they nice. called it Iceland to keep people away? Yeah. <laughs> And that was the place where they diverted well, the planes. That, and that was uh, come from away, right? It, yeah, it, it, yeah. They, they landed in Iceland, yeah. and they treated everybody beautifully. This, By the way, no, no, they landed in Maine, Greenland. What? No, no, they they were. In, they, was it was it Greenland? Was it Iceland? Greenland? It was Iceland. Or, or was it Nova Scotia? It was Nova Scotia. Yeah, I saw the show on. K come from away. Yeah, well, I didn't see it on Broadway. I saw it on uh, uh, Disney, I think, was carrying it or somebody like that. Well, we saw it. We saw it, yeah. yeah. I, saw the, I saw the video version of it. And I got to tell you, they did a really good job of it. You felt like you were sitting in the audience. And that's yeah. a wonderful musical. Yes, it is. Just wonderful. Yeah. Uh, I've yet to watch, you know what I've yet to watch on Disney's Hamilton. I somehow can't bring myself to watch that. I haven't seen it either. Well, you know why? Because you well, live with me. Well, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah. No, I, I've seen it twice. It's a good show, but, but it's you not saw the greatest it. thing in the world. But you saw it on Broadway. This is the TV. No, I also saw it off Broadway at the public theater. But this is the TV thing. Yeah. You know, that and, I didn't see. And I just, I, I, I started watching and I went, eh, who cares? You know, we saw his other show. His other show, the yeah, the, in the Heights. In the Heights the movie, in the Heights. Yeah, that story. was great. I watched it. Was that. Great, it was great terrific. movie. Yeah. Um, and um, but anyway, so you know, that's our extent of Broadway. We haven't been to a movie theater in how long, Marjorie? Three years. Three years. Wow. When's the last time anybody gone to a movie theater recently? I saw a Maverick in the summer. Uh, mm -hmm. You saw what? Maverick. The, the, Maverick. The, oh, you mean top, the, the top thing gun. with James Garner? Okay. No. <laughs> top Gun. Top Gun Maverick. No, Top Gun Maverick. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Come From Away is a, uh, is a Canadian musical, and it's about Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Okay, we were all wrong. We were all wrong. <laughs> but it's a Canadian musical. I got pretty much that part right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, in fact, the main song in the show, because it was done in Canada originally, is a song called I'm Sorry, and it goes on for five hours. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, did you see who was made a Russian citizen yesterday? Yes. Yes. No. Snowden. Snowden. Oh, real? Oh, okay. yeah. Now, what, they can have. you know, I was on his side through that whole yeah. deal. I was on his side, 100%. But in the midst of all the stuff that's going on in the Ukraine, he gets Canadian, he gets Russian citizenship. Well, he's <clears throat> been living there, Alex. Yeah, yeah, he's been living there. 
keep yeah. your green card. You don't want to. I wouldn't want. Would you want to be Russian right now? No. 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 People, he he's he's signing up to be a Russian, and there are people jumping over each other to try and get out of that damn yeah. country. You know what's curious about this is is um there I've listened and read a lot of reports about what the Russian citizens know and what they don't know about what's going on in Ukraine, how they're mm -hmm. and but Snowden's a guy uh who you would think would know mm -hmm. <laughs> out of out of out of they're all gonna, of, they're gonna end up drafting him. <laughs> Well, yeah. maybe, maybe I guess I guess maybe he can't leave the country because if he did now, if he leaves the country and they try to arrest him, he's a he's a Russian citizen, yeah. and so mm -hmm. that carries with it a certain amount of cachet. He's also still an American citizen. Really, I don't think so you can have. He did not. You can have dual his, citizenship. He did not renounce oh. his American citizenship. No, but Americans can't have dual citizenship. Yes, they can. Yes, they can. Yeah, of some course. Can. Yeah, yeah, they can in Canada. I had heard they couldn't. Of course, they can. Yeah. I call them duallys. Duallys. <laughs> yeah, I know a you whole know. bunch of duallys. You know, I mean, if that were the case, I'd you know, I'd I'd probably be part American, part Andorran. <laughs> Have you guys been watching Andor? It I've just started. It. I haven't had a chance. Oh, man. Is it good? If you're <laughs> it, it, Wars, it violates Andor. every canon of Star Wars. Every canon of Star Wars. When when Lucas first put did Star Wars, he said, the one thing about Star Wars is because it's a family uh, film, is none of, these, none of my stuff will have violence. None of my stuff will have deaths murders you know and there were a whole uh, about three rules he put in there that have all been broken by this series i would submit that when the death star blew up alderaan that was a lot of deaths people, yeah there's a lot of deaths there well but uh, you never saw it you know uh, but no but he said those were the rules you know at least on screen no shootings or deaths whatever yeah. you know uh, i mean yeah people get killed they get whatever by the by the by the lightsabers but then uh, you know they still are alive somewhere else and anyway the point is uh I'm, the show's okay you know i i'm not crazy about it it hasn't grabbed me yet you know mm. but it's it's beautifully done you know uh but this is a this is a star wars it's kind of like more a, a spy drama right well, it's the prequel to Rogue One. Like Rogue One, yeah. they went and stole the Death Star plans. Yeah, but why are you going to do a sequel to a film hardly anybody went to see? That's not true. That's, Rogue that's, Rogue least successful of, of, that's the least successful of all the Star Wars films. No, sir. I'm sorry, Alex. I'm sorry to tell you that's not true. No, but I'm sorry to tell you it is true. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you. I never heard of it. These, of okay, I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I think made over a billion, actually, Rogue One. Yeah. Here, I'm going to strap you to the bed and make you watch it. No way. <laughs> Can we watch kinky. it? <laughs> kinky. Huh? huh? Kinky. <laughs> we'll go make popcorn. I don't know. I, I seem to be out of it. I don't know. Maybe it's just the old man and me or something, but I, I'm not that... Yeah, you know, it's okay. I like She-Hulk. I think She-Hulk is terrific. Oh, me too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Uh, but... Uh, I I don't like the House of the Dra House of Dragons, but I do like the thing they're doing with uh, with Lord of the Rings, and I don't like uh, I'm not uh, you know I just can't you uh, Andor's it's okay I'll get into it eventually somehow. Well, the good show was uh, Harley Quinn this year. Oh, Harley Quinn was mm -hmm. wonderful. Here's the most wonderful. You know, are you familiar with Harley Quinn? No. It's an animated series about Joker's ex-girlfriend. And it's animated. Kaylee Cuoco was on Big Bang Theory, the voice of Harley Quinn. And uh, she has her lesbian girlfriend. And in the last episode, last two episodes of the show, they pulled the biggest, the biggest piece of DC comic heresy you could possibly pull off. And that was in the last two episodes. Bruce Wayne, who's Batman, his parents, you know, were killed in an alley. That's all part of the canon of the Batman history. Uh, 
he brings them back to life as zombies. <laughs> and I and accidentally turns another a thousand people into zombies. Yeah, accidentally turns a thousand other people into zombies too. But the point is that this is complete heresy, isn't it, in the DC canon to turn yeah. Bruce Wayne's parents into zombies? You know. Isn't that what's thought of as humor these days? <laughs> oh yeah, well, I mean, I thought it was very funny. I loved it. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> you know, it it I this that show, which I can't get Marjorie to watch, Harley Quinn, it's one of the funniest shows on the air. Mm. You know. And if you, know, if you remember the series starts with stuff. Harley Quinn going down on poison ivy. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Going down on her. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's a great show. Oh, it's a show. Did, did you say you watch it, Charlie? No, I'm watching. Oh, oh, no, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, right. <laughs> so uh, just uh, just a domestic box office. Uh, the number three Star Wars uh, movie of all time, domestic box office, is Rogue One: A Star Wars Story. I think you're thinking of Han, this Han Solo movie, which was the the most disappointing. Rogue One's actually. The oh, I thought Rogue One did ter terribly. You know, yeah. But. Yeah. You know, also at that point, everybody was looking for another Star Wars movie. So they went out to see it. Now, whether they liked it or not is another question. You know, it's it's I think it's incredible. I love that. Movie. I'd like to see the Rotten Tomatoes score mm -hmm. on audience on Rogue One. Even right. People maybe went to it and were disappointed by it or whatever, you know. But uh, anyway, so a cousin of mine just was how are the persons in Kentucky? for such a long time and she loved it loved what star wars 2 who oh <laughs> my cousin which one did she like two empire strikes, back. empire strikes back star no star wars star the wars original. episode oh i mean the second picture they made picture of it yeah it was very good it was terrific, yeah. it was terrific. i thought it was the best but anyway and the yeah, third was God horrible with all those teddy bears with lips you know, uh, Rogue One got eighty four percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, is that audience score or audience score is eighty six? Eighty six. Okay, <clears throat> I'm wrong. I'm an old person. I just you know. Oh, you tell us your opinion. Hey, yeah. Oh, oh it seems to go counter to everything. I mean, I talked to Michael Snyder, our movie reviewer. Yeah, say that in quotes. Uh, <laughs> movie reviewer. Uh, and and he he loves uh, he loves the House of Dragon, and I'm going. Yeah. There's nothing going on there, you know. It's just, it's it, it's it's. If I said let's make a bad version of Game of Thrones, that would be it. Yeah, but we're also talking about Michael Snyder, which nobody exactly. here knows who he is. Thank you, Jackie. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you. It's the I don't know. On TV well, I've been loyal to our movie reviewer for years and years and years because. I don't know why it's a, I've had him on everything I've ever done when I did uh, he first uh, ha, I first had him on I believe when I was at uh, uh, live 105 yep was it earlier than that could have been yeah no I don't think I had him on at the quake I don't think so but anyway mm -hmm. and and since then he's been on everything I did when I went to Sirius XM I had him on there when I went to uh, somewhere else he was on there you know I always carried it along with me does, does his taste seem to match yours? No. Uh, never. Oh, that's the best never. part. That's yeah. so funny. I tell most people, if you want to know what movies to go see, listen to his reviews, and if he doesn't like it, go see it. <laughs> <laughs> And if he likes it, avoid it like the play. It's true. It's true. It's true. There was a that's movie that Alex and I went to see that was given like a 97% and he raved about it, and it was terrible. Mm. Just, well, it was, we always found that a lot of times Rotten Tomatoes, when they get like 97%, we would go see it. The film sucked. Mm. Yeah. You know, I'm wondering who saw this, you know? And these are all critics. You know what I hate about critics? And then we're coming towards the end of the show here. But you know what I hate about critics is they get in for free. Yep. OK, and if you're going to sit there watching a movie and deciding whether it's good or bad and you haven't shelled out $14 to get in. 
you're going to have a different opinion of it than someone who shelled out fourteen dollars. And also, if they in. don't have a good opinion of the film, the studio won't invite them anymore. Right. That's another yeah. part of it. But forget about that part of it. Um, I've given thing bad reviews, and they still invite me to the next one. But uh, but the thing that really gets me is that these people get in for free, and they have a different perception of the picture. They're, they're the only price they're, but they're also watching time the screening and they be, room with 15 people. They're not in well, a theater. The, well, the only, pri- the, only, the only price they're paying is their time. Mm-hmm. And their time is being paid for. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I mean, it, it, why listen to a critic? What do they know? What I listen to is I, that's, uh, I always look to see what the audience thought. And the audiences are pretty stupid too. But, <laughs> but the audience, uh, Shecky's got a good point though. Like those of you guys who can get screeners and everything, that's great. That'll let you see the film, but it's a, a different, like Top Gun Maverick, perfect example. Yeah. I watched it at the house with Candy and it was great it, because it's a great movie, but seeing it in the theater and when we went, it was a full theater, mm-hmm. completely different experience. Mm-hmm. Well, there is something for, to be said for a motion picture theater experience, okay? You know, I agree with you on that. Although I, I, have, I, have, I have Top Gun Maverick here, and I've yet to watch it. Marjorie and I, we probably should watch it. No. Yeah. No, why? You see, she, she's so old now, she refuses to try anything. In the, in the theater, it was fun. There are movies that we used to watch together and go to, and we remember with great fondness. And if we saw that same movie today, I don't want to see it. It's not for me. You know. So. <laughs> My opinion of this movie is it threads the needle and does something uh, that a lot of modern movies are trying to do. It is a sequel and a remake at the exact same time. It is. Yeah, it's really clever. Well, I never liked the first one. So, you know, I mean. <laughs> yeah. But hey, but listen, nice. we're, running, we're running over here and I, you know, and I have important things to do like Call Shecky right after this is over. <laughs> Take a few minutes, Shecky, because I have to go into the other room to do it. To get it, get the phone. Uh, you can bring me the phone, Marjorie. No, I'm busy. No, she can't. She's bed. You're resting. I'm busy. Oh, you're busy. What are you doing? I'm doing uh, a lot of things. One of it's is watching your program. <laughs> have a good week, everybody. <laughs> right. Boy, this is an act you gotta love, you know. <laughs> anyway, Charlene, so good of you to join us again. We love having you here. Uh, and thanks to Lynn LaFrisco. We'll see you when in a couple of weeks. I got you down here. Three, on the three weeks from today. Three Ready? weeks wow. from today. Uh, and Shecky's going to get together with us too, right, Sheck? And have dinner. Thank mm-hmm. you, Shecky. Right. Paul Levin, if you want to, fly in, have dinner with us. <laughs> you know? uh, anytime, by the way. Jeff? Thank you. No, I got to apologize for getting in and out. I got a, a cousin over here. and it's <laughs> Nothing to apologize for. Not yeah. on the show. You don't have to apologize for this show. Yeah. Um, okay. And Marjorie, you. thank you so much for joining us. A pleasure. Uh, Charlie Wallace, you know, wh- what does your T-shirt say today? English is important, but math is important to <laughs> he has the best t-shirts he does Vernon Nunn thank you so much I love seeing your face and uh, 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 Mike Chisholm I say hello to Candace and enjoy Got yourself it. at your wrestling convention and thank everybody you. say goodbye and I'll say goodbye too and every- oh by the way All right. you can't forget I always forget because I go through everybody and then I end the show Edward Berger will now sign us off by saying, that's all, folks. (laughs) Bye-bye, everybody.